Good morning. Welcome to today's Morning Moxie. We are talking about my almost favorite topic, how to get referrals. On my channel, I like to share bite-sized pieces of inspiration for powerful women on the move. I share leadership tips, personal development strategies, as well as best practices in business, all in the hopes of inspiring you to jumpstart your day for greater success. So with all that said, let's jump right into it. So today's topic is, drum roll please, getting more referrals. Now, I think the gold standard for business owners is growing their business by getting, you know, being becoming a referral-based business. But, you know, that does take some time to build up. So let's just look at a few ways that you might be able to become the next go-to enterprise. Did you know that in the beginning, PayPal used to pay all the new customers $10 for joining plus $10 for everybody that they referred. So that is certainly a surefire way to get the word out and to inspire people to spread the word, right? And now they are a multi-billion dollar business. Well, sure, that's a great strategy if you can afford it. Um, $10 doesn't sound like a lot, but I bet it sure adds up quickly. So perhaps there are some other non-monetary ways that you can replicate or otherwise take a page out of their Grow Fast book. For example, you can consider offering a non-monetary uh, incentive to refer business, right? Maybe if someone refers a client or new customer, they might get a you know percentage off their next purchase or which means, you know, you get money up front because they have to buy in order to get the discounted rate. So, you know, it costs you a little bit, but it doesn't cost you as much as a direct payment without any direct reward. So, you know, a discount is a good way to go. Or also the BOGO, um, otherwise known as a twofer, buy one, get one. So, you know, if they buy or otherwise enroll, then two for the price of one. So, yes, there was some... Um, well, not a spin because you aren't getting paid, but it's you're getting two for the price of one. So that is also one option that you might want to look at. And then, you know, maybe you do offer a cash referral fee, but you want to calculate that incentive based on the anticipated money that you'll make on that new referee, right? So if you figure the lifetime value of the new of each customer is, I don't know, $2,000, if you spend $10 to acquire that customer, then that's not really too bad, right? That's a good return on your investment. So don't, don't say no to paying for referrals. So that might actually work. Now, getting people inside the door is one thing, but you also need to stay top of mind with your referral network. These are people who are willing to give you referrals, right? So, you know, you can't always be in sales mode, but you can remind them about specials that you have or the new campaign that you come you have coming up. So, and just, you know, remind them to share with their network. Um, so you're not asking for a sale directly, but you're just giving them some good information that they can share with their network, which might end up being a customer for you. And then lastly, you want to be intentional about getting referrals. Referrals don't just happen. Now, we already talked in yesterday's video or the other previous video about um, how you need to help people give you testimonials. In this case, you want to help people give you referrals. And it's the same way. It takes time. It takes planning. So you want to set aside time each week in order to craft your campaign. You want to figure out what your offer is going to be, and you also want to figure out how to market that offer. So make sure you put that into your weekly schedule, at least, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, depending on you know how big your network is. But you do want to make sure that that is part of your weekly calendar. So that has been today's Morning Moxie. I hope you have found it helpful. And if you would be so good, do please subscribe if you haven't already. As you know, that helps with the YouTube algorithms. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers.